Justin, I am, I, I am going to make you do it again. So explain why we were hey, later than we wanted to be today. This is the second time he's making me do this. So uh, I woke up this morning, 5.30, so we could be here early. I got to Zarif's house at 6.30. David was not there at 6.40. So to kind of broaden on that, the original plan was for all of us to meet at Zarif's house at about 6.30. Um, we would all drive to his house, and we would all meet there, and then Zarif would drive all four of us down to the convention center so that we could get our tickets as quick as possible. That didn't end up happening for me. <laughs> I woke up that morning at 7 o'clock with the doorbell ringing and me checking my phone and realizing that Justin and Zarif had both called me and texted me multiple times for me to get up and for me to meet them at Zarif's house. And about the doorbell ringing, that was also Justin and Zarif seeing if I was up. So I got up at 7, I immediately ran into the shower, took a shower, got ready, grabbed all my stuff, which included my camera, my DS, because I'm, I'll be bored. My headphones, my phone, some chargers, and all that, all that good stuff. And we did actually end up getting there at about eight o'clock, which is good because that's when they start the actual official lineup. So that's how my morning was going on the first day. <laughs> I can't believe they're not making Crunch Time season two. That's crazy. Crunch Time was good. What do you think, Justin? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Three how's the drive down here? Excellent. <laughs>
and he says like before they go on any band trip, he has to like order like thousands of con like a like a crate of condoms to take because those band kids are real promiscuous. <laughs> They're weird, dude. They are weird. It's what like is it cult. like in uh, during the Olympics in like the Olympic Village? Yeah, yeah. This, they order like they go it? through like four hundred yeah. condoms. Olympians are even crazy because they're hella dieted down and like. Yeah. I know those yeah. are superhumans. Yeah. I, I mean, would too. We're doing the mannequin challenge. Mannequin challenge. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Gonna do a concert? Steven Subtick? No. <laughs> I hope he does. The guy who makes all the music for Rooster okay. Teeth. Oh. Uh, Trocadero. Yeah. yeah I'd like Leonard that. Cohen. Yeah. Leonard Cohen. Oh God. <laughs> I'm getting all right. I feel like that's what we're doing now. Right now, uh, we are going to the Cow Chop panel. Um, it's like the Funhouse channel. But. Um, Smaller. Just an action scene, go. You touch my nuts, I touch yours. Just finished our second, our second uh, panel. As you can tell, I'm, I'm really good at vlogging. Yeah, you are. This is why I should do it. Uh, I should do daily vlogging from now on. Where the hell are we? I want auto ISO on, but I don't want to turn it on. Because I'm lazy. And your shit's gonna be overexposed. It's also gonna be underexposed at a lot of times. Look. David, that's not good. Look. No Casey Neistat. Casey Neistat is auto I just carry a camera around like an asshole. So, Zarif, how was your uh, VIP seating? I was actually pretty good. I got to see. Uh, all of their bits and features were up close and personal. Nice. Even though the, the screens were on opposite of what well, you're right and left side. Well. <laughs> Which most of it was just video. Right. The whole thing was, they didn't even have to be there. They could have uh, just brought a laptop. And they could have just shown space. So what did y'all think, as people who don't watch Couch Shop? Hey, right? All right, Justin. Oh, did you notice this is clickbait. Go over there. We're going to go, we're going to go behead you. All right. Just, yeah, just keep going. Go across the street, we'll do it over there. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Alright, so... There's a line to get into the exhibit hall at almost 4 o'clock. Which is 4 hours after the exhibit hall opened. Which is weird. And I think it's because of the metal detectors, which... Of course, it's a safety precaution, but but yeah. Um, see, I, I've said this is a long line. See, that's the line. This is the back of the line. Circle is all the way around. So while this may be a good safety precaution, it is not the best way to keep death from happening. <laughs> Just found a fidget spinner booth, right? Yeah. Right, what does this world come to? It's and the sad thing sick. is, I wanted them. They were like thirty dollars, and I still wanted them. I mean, they were they were like fancy ones, but I don't want to spend thirty dollars on a fidget spinner. I think the guy was just a good salesman. He's like, you know what? No, I'll he, take. He I'll was about to take five dollars <laughs> off my purchase. He's like, don't worry, for you, I'll take five dollars off. I'm like, don't Yo. worry, for you, you can still pay twenty five dollars for a useless piece of tap. <laughs> you probably could have talked them down further, even. I probably could have been like, hey, twenty two. And, I'll, I'll and you're still the jump there, but that's yeah. He wouldn't go lower than like either, 20. Right? Either way, no matter what I'm paying, I'm still yeah, I'm still a loser there. I think I think you're right there. No, no matter what, if you buy one of those fidget spinners, you are the loser. I did have to say, fidget spinners are terrible, but they make some good ass fidget spinners. What would happen if I won, but I don't have eye problems? Oh, then you'll never have eye problems. Do you have eye problems? No. Then don't sign up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. Diamond in the buzzer beater. I'm surprised.
surprised that one counted. <laughs> I don't like having two bags. <laughs> you didn't get a five hour energy one? No, because I lost. <laughs> they only give me lanyards if I lose. <laughs> Even though I can probably just keep playing and then get myself a bag. What else you can do with the lanyard? Yeah, what can you do with the lanyard? Put it in your pocket. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, you can. How many well, I wouldn't actually would choke I have you. To give you. But if I wanted to, that's how I would do it. So do it, pussy. <laughs> how many dollars would I have to give you right now? We should get a, uh, a gun. <laughs> what? We should get a gun. You gotta protect yourself out there, dude. I have a gun. It's not even criminals, cause like I agree, if I can get a gun, then a criminal can get a gun. I thought about I thought about it long and hard, I, I, cause I thought about if I ever got attacked by a bear, which I know is very unlikely to happen, but I. <laughs> 